Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my video, and today we're going to be checking out this guy. This is the Free Sky RXSR. So here's just some of the stats. And this was sent in to review from Race Day Quads. So let's just get this little guy open. And now you've probably already seen some stuff on this. This is basically, this is one of their newest receivers that is aiming at taking the um, XSR and shrinking it to the size of an XM+. Plus. So for the wiring we get, luckily, these are all very nice silicone wires. They're not that nasty plastic stuff anymore. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Just have the pin out here. Then we have the same thing over here, except um, instead of all five wires, we only have three. And it goes to a servo header if you wish to use that. And then we also have an instruction manual that just goes out over the general uh, pin out of everything and just how to bind it and where everything should go. So that's pretty nice. And then on the back, they give you more detailed instructions for setting it up with your Tyrannus. So that's really cool, as well as the Horus system. All right, so let's just zoom in a little bit and take a closer look at this. So this is the receiver itself. So hopefully you can tell this thing is just absolutely tiny. Here is an XSR, which is the current receiver I'm using that this has shrunk down from. And look at the size difference of that. That is absolutely crazy. I don't have one out of a build that I could show you, but this is the same size as the XM Plus receiver, which I'm a big fan of. However, that does not offer the telemetry and RSSI capabilities that this does. So one of the negatives of something being this small is the bind button. Hopefully you can tell on the normal models, you have sort of a larger button here that's easier to press. But on this one, you have a really tiny little gold thing, similar to the XM Plus. So I really would recommend this, just plugging this in and binding it before you ever install it, and then it won't be a problem. Otherwise, it might be hard to press in the quad. If we flip it over, we've got another cool feature of it. You can see the antennas. Obviously, it's diversity. They are pretty short, but they do have little connectors on them, which is really nice because, once again, the XSR had um, direct soldered antennas. So if you broke one like this one, you'd have to um, desolder that and put a new one on. But here, you can just unclip it and put it back on. And luckily, most they use the same connector size as the antenna spare antennas that are already available. I've got a bunch of these, so that'll just be able to plug right on if I break one. So that's really cool. And then there's just a look at some of the other electronics on the back. And now the plug is for sure definitely the biggest thing of this. But if you wanted to, you could desolder this and then direct solder to these pads underneath here. There is enough room to do that. But still, it's a super tiny receiver and it does everything that this one does. Oh, and before I get this installed, let me weigh this real quick. So it weighs 1.1 grams, so that's crazy light. And if we weigh the original uh, XSR, that weighs 3.1 grams. So it's two grams lighter, so only two grams, but you know, it's weight savings. And the most important thing with this is size. You can fit this in a lot of places that you couldn't fit this. So let me get it installed. So to test this guy, I need to put it in a build, obviously, and luckily I have a build that's sort of half broken and needs a rebuild, so I might as well put this in while I'm at it, and this guy does have the XSR in it, so I'll be swapping it out, and then we'll be doing some um, general flying and a little bit of range testing, so let's get to that. Alright, so I got the RXSR installed into a quad here to test it. However, I did notice when I was putting the antennas on that they are quite short. If you look at the uh, X4R, they're 31 millimeters, which is a quarter wavelength. And something that the uh, Free Sky did with the XSR was made them a fifth wavelength, so they're shorter. I think they're 26 millimeters. Um, but these ones are actually even shorter than that. Hopefully, you saw those pictures there. So I'm really not sure what they're going with her here, but I'm kind of worried about the range of these. However, those snap-on replacement antennas that I do have are the quarter wavelength at 31 millimeters. But I'm going to give the stock antennas a try while recording my radio to see the RSSI values. And then I'll probably swap them out and repeat the test. So, let's do it. Alright, here we are for some range testing of the RXSR with the stock short antennas. So I'm just going to do some normal flying first. Uh, just, you know, nothing uh, pushing the range of this. Just to make sure everything's working alright. And you guys can hopefully see that little RSSI value on my radio. Yeah, everything's looking good so far. Uh, of course, it does run on S-Bus. So the latency is what I normally feel. Very good feeling. It's just an XSR shrunk down. Alright, so that's good. So let's go for a little bit of a longer flight out this way. 
Probably about half a mile if I get all the way out here. Oh yeah. I haven't even got any warnings yet. And my antennas are mounted down below in between the arms. So they're not ideally positioned either besides um, for racing. So that's seems to be working all right. And we crashed. Perfect time to put the other antennas on. Okay, here we are back again. Same exact test, except now I have swapped in the quarter length 31 millimeter antennas. So I'm gonna try and repeat what I did last time. Just sort of fly around a little bit first. Everything's looking fine. Then we can go out here and do a little bit of a longer flight. Everything's doing fine. Going out farther than I did last time because I have the uh, full length antennas on so I'm more confident in them. My problem is here I'm running 25 milliwatts so uh, my video is getting some bad breakup. But hopefully uh, the RSI on my transmitter um, we're showing higher values. Okay, let's just go out here. Still haven't gotten any low warnings on my RSSI. Quite a ways out. See a little leap of faith over the water. <laughs> it's probably about half a mile from where I'm standing. And that's just about as far as I'm usually comfortable Transmitter going battery low. with uh, my XSRs. Um, battery low. And I leave those on stock uh, fifth wave. Transmitter battery low. So yeah. Twenty seconds. Back in. Transmitter battery low. All right, so here we are back after some of that testing. So let me just sum up my thoughts on the FreeSky RXSR. So I flew about five more batteries uh, through this guy, just racing around my yard and a little bit farther out, maximum half a mile, probably a little bit less than that. And when I started off, I tried using um, these stock antennas, which is right here. You can see the antenna length. Um, and here is an XSR antenna. Um, and these are known for being, what are they, 26 millimeters and they're one-fifth length. So if I hold them up together, hopefully you can tell that it's a little bit shorter so it's not even a fifth length. I'm not sure what it is. And then if you hold it up next to the normal quarter length um, antenna, the 31 millimeters, hopefully you can see that it's quite a bit shorter there. So I'm not exactly sure what FreeSky was thinking going with this length, but I didn't have any problems using it and I didn't have any worse range going out as far as I did there. But I definitely felt a lot more comfortable when I had swapped out to these quarter length 31 millimeter long antennas. And now the normal quad that I use for sort of longer range flying is just my freestyle quad here. This has the antennas orientated up like this, however, so that's much better um, for longer range flying for when you turn around at low angles. Um, this just has an XSR in it, a stock one. So these are the one fifth um, wavelength antennas. I didn't mod them. And I get pretty fantastic range out of that, so I really don't think it's going to be too much an issue if you do leave these stock antennas. However, if you were in, wanted to do any sort of long range flying with this receiver, I would certainly recommend uh, changing to the 31 millimeter antenna and perhaps even hooking up an XM Plus as a slave receiver, which is a nice feature of this one. However, if you're going to go that far to get long range, you might as well be looking into something like a crossfire system. And now for the RSSI values that um, as I was flying over the lake there, obviously you can see this is a race quad, so I have my antennas mounted here, so it really was not optimal um, in my video either at a low tilt angle, because as soon as I turn around, it's pretty much all blocked by everything, but it seemed to do the job just fine. So to just sum up real quick, overall, I definitely don't like how the antennas are super thin. Um, the XSR ones, hopefully you can tell, are quite a bit thicker. Um, these are just easier to break, but you know, that's that's just a small receiver, so it's kind of expected. I do like how they went to the little connector. It makes swapping them easy, especially when I changed out for the longer ones. It was easy to swap. I didn't have to solder anything. And probably the second best thing about the RXSR besides its size is its price. This thing is only $20. And it's a full range telemetry right out of the box with smart port has everything on it just like all the other free sky receivers and it's just so tiny really just one of the main downsides i think is the antennas it comes with 
However, you can get a bag of spares like this that just plug right in, which is what I use with the 31 millimeter quarter wavelength antennas. Um, they're really cheap. I'll leave a link down below those as well. So overall, I'm just really happy with the receiver and it's definitely going to be my new go-to receiver for racing quads. You can see it just fits right under there. So yeah, there'll be a link down below if you're interested. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.